Hey, this is Mabel's Tables, and you know I'm on a roll with this faux food because I really want to show you how to make some d delicious looking faux food that when you have guests over or just to showcase on your tablescapes, you know, when you're making tablescapes, you can put out your faux food instead of trying to go in and make some real food. This faux food will last forever and ever and ever and ever well today people guess what we are making we are making hot dogs yes and i'm going to attempt to make a hot dog in a bun and i am not going to edit anything so all of my mistakes you will see them so when you make your hot dogs in a bun you will won't make the same mistakes that i am making okay let's get to what we're using for my dough we got the lightweight spackling okay and in my dough i put in yellow uh-oh I'm going to take that off. That fell. I'm sorry. I put in yellow because I'm going to be making some egg hot dog buns. The egg hot dog buns. And I put in the yellow and I put in some khaki. You know, this khaki stuff can go into just about anything and it makes beautiful color and it blends in good with the rest of the um with the rest of the colors. And okay, here's my dough. Now for my hot dog. This is my hot dog dough. This is my hot dog dough right here. And for my hot dog dough, I put in a little yellow, two drops of yellow, four drops of nutmeg brown, Three drops of bright red. No, make that four drops of bright red. I'm reading off my paper. Four drops of bright red. And two drops of white. Okay? And I made my hot dog dough with that. Now I got my... Hot dog, hot bun dough right here. Hot dog bun uh, dough right here. And here, I'm going to place it on this plate right here. And I know you recognize this. This comes from the Dollar Tree. And because we're making faux um, food, I'm going to put just a little cornstarch on here. to stop it from sticking. And this is my cornstarch. You can get any kind of cornstarch that you like, but this is what I am using. Okay, I already prepared the dough so it won't be long on the video. I'm trying to cut these videos down because I know sometimes you go to all the way to the end to see what it's gonna look like uh, because the video is too long and I'm trying my best to cut down on the video. Well, one way I can cut down on a video is quit running my big mouth. Okay, so this is my pickle relish right here. I made some pickle relish to go on my um, hot dog, okay? So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to shape my uh, hamburger bun. Let me wash my hands because I went into pickle relish and got... My hands are green, so I got to wash this off because I don't want my hot dog bun to look like it's green. I want it to look just like an egg hot dog bun. 
you know, the egg, the yellow ones, you know, the yellow hot dog buns they have. I think uh, a lot of bakery flowers, bakery, a lot of bakery make those uh, hot dog buns. Okay, shut up, Mabel, shut up. Okay. I'm going to take a piece of this, like this, take about this much, and you're going to roll it until you get the oblong shape of a hot dog bun. You may have to dip it a little bit to stop your hands from sticking. That's why I put the cornstarch there. But And then you're going to start doing this. And while you're doing that, you're going to make it oblong. See, that's why you use the cornstarch, so it just won't stick. And you get it to the consistency that you want that hot dog bun. And you roll it on out with your hand. See, this is going to be um, a hot dog bun that you use with your hand. See how it's sticking? Because I didn't put enough on my hand. Hard-headed, Mabel, hard-headed. So I'm going to lay it down like this. Let me move this over so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Okay, I'm going to roll that over. Didn't put any cornstarch there. There you go. Flatten it out here. And you're going to shape it there. And take your finger and go down the middle. See how I'm doing? Down the middle like that. And when you go down the middle, you're going to pull it up on the side. And while you're pulling it up on the side, you're going to manipulate it. You see what I'm doing right here? And you're going to close that up. You're going to go on the other side and you're going to repeat that step. Going to repeat that. Because we're making the hot dog bun now. You're going to make it as close as you can. And this is not a perfect hot dog bun because like I said, the thought came in my head. I didn't practice it. I want to see how I can do it without practicing it so you will know how to do it because I'm going to make mistakes and I want you to see all the mistakes I'm making so you can do better. That's what a friend does. And that's what someone does that really want you to know how they made something. If people don't want you to know how they made anything, they won't let you see the mistakes as well. But I'm going to let you see my mistakes. Now, see, I rolled that up and messed it up. You see that? So I'm going to start all over again because I did it wrong. That's what I wanted you to see. I'm going to start it again because I did it wrong. And if anybody know any special way for me to do this, uh, to cut down on time, hey, I'm not the person to uh, uh, not take uh, criticism. I, I like criticism. That's how you grow. I learned that early in life. You can't do everything perfect. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to do it this way. If you can't get it one way, do it the other way. Okay. There you go. And I'm going to smooth it out. Going to keep smoothing it out. Keep smoothing it out. Keep, I'm making this bun now. Because you know the hot dogs are going to be relatively easy to make. It's the bun that you got to get made perfectly. Can you see that? Okay. There you go. You got to make that little trench in that bun for that hot dog to sit. And that's what I'm doing. Gonna make that. There you go. This is for the hot dog. You know, it's supposed to hang out that way. And it's supposed to be pulled up like this. 
And your hot dog bun is going to hold your hot dog. Hey. Well, now, what do you think? You think we got it? So I'm going to roll it this time. I'm going to be careful. Pick it up. Put it over here on the plate. And I'm going to finish rolling it out on the plate. Okay. We're going to make sure that that hot dog is going to fit down there in that trench. Make sure you shape it good. Okay. Now we're going to go in again with our finger and mash it down. Because we got to get a good trench. There you go. For the hot dog. We want it to look so realistic that somebody would want to take a bite out of it. Push it together. Trench it out. Push it together. Because you want that hot dog to sit in there and look so real that somebody passed by and said, whoa, hot dogs, you know. Now, how do you, what do you think? There's one bun right there. Okay, there it is, one bun right there. Want to get it trenched out for you? And this is an egg. You know, they have the hot dog buns made out of eggs, and, and they look so pretty. The yellow ones, they look so pretty and good. Okay, I think we got our bun made out good. Make sure the edges come up. Because that hot dog is supposed to be sitting down in there. Okay? How do you think? I'm going to put that down. And I'm going to get a hot dog dough. And I'm going to take me about this much of that dough. See? Like this. There you go. And I'm going to dip it right here. See? going to put this back. And I'm going to roll it in my hand. Now, you know the hot dog portion is not that bad. And we're going to roll it again. We're going to fold it, fold it, fold it, fold it. And we're going to shape it, shape it. See how I'm shaping it? You're going to shape it and shape it and shape it. Like pat it like a baby's butt. And then we're going to roll it. We're going to roll top, middle, bottom. Top, middle, bottom. And you, you can feel it as you're rolling it. So if it feels out of whack a little bit, you roll where you see the, the um, where it is too thin or too thick. You roll it in those area and then you turn it over. And you roll it again, okay? You roll it again. And you measure it up against your bun. There you go. I like the bun size hot dogs for myself. And you roll it again. Roll it. And you roll it. Okay, what do you think? We got that hot dog made perfectly. Now what we're going to do, we're going to put it on the bun. Okay. This is, we're doing this together. I did not practice this at all. I'm doing it together. Now, what do you think? Do you like that hot dog in the bun? That's a hot dog in the bun. And when this dries, it's going to be hard and it will look a whole lot better. But this is a dough. This is a spackled dough. So you got to wait until it hard. So look at that hot dog. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to take some ketchup. And you know what our ketchup is going to be? Our ketchup is going to be a bright red paint. And we're going to put some ketchup. And 
And we're going to put a little more ketchup over here. Not much, because it's going to run anyway. And now, we're going to take some mustard. I always shake my paint up, because you know it always have that stuff, uh, big lumps in it sometimes. And we're going to take our mustard, and we're going to put it across there. That's our mustard. Okay. And I'm going to take some pickle relish. And we're going to put pickle relish on top of our hot dog. Okay. Put some more pickle relish on it. That's our. And you know, it's good when the ketchup run all off the side and everything. You know, you like that when the ketchup runs all out the side. I love a lot of pickle relish on my hot dog. And basically, I can't eat mustard. I have an allergy to mustard, which is really, really strange. The doctors always say that is so strange, but I do I have an allergy to mustard, so I can't eat mustard. I'm just making this hot dog uh, for your entertainment. Um, if I ate a real hot dog, I couldn't use the mustard. Okay, there we go. Hot dog with ketchup, mustard, and pickle relish. That's a hot dog. Now, I'm going to go away to um, take a, down some of the time. So you don't have to watch it all. And I'm going to make a plate of hot dogs. And then I will be back. Okay, I'm back. And we got all our hot dogs all made. And look at delicious. I hope that you understood the video and how to make these delicious hot dogs. Just take a look at these hot dogs. And you know, my favorite hot dogs is uh, Nathan's, but you know, my second favorite is Hebrew National because Hebrew National ha do not have a whole lot of salt and it does not uh, run your blood pressure up. I'm not, this is not uh, uh, something to make you go out and buy anything. I'm just telling you my preferences. Just look at those hot dogs. Okay, get you some spackle, your different paints, and your starch, and mix it up. Just like you would a dough. And color it like I showed you how to color it previously. And make yourself some hot dogs. Make these hot dogs so you can showcase them on your tablescapes. You'll have food on your tablescapes. And you won't have to um, cook real food. Now, don't those hot dogs look delicious? This is Mabel's Table saying don't forget to pray for someone else besides yourself and always know that God is in large and in charge. And let me tell you something else. God is a healer. I know y'all are a healer. I know you know that. And prayer, let me tell you, don't let nobody fool you. Prayer works. Let these hot dogs sit up and harden for about a day. You've already made them, so just set them to the side and let them hard, and then you can move them from plate to plate and side to side once they harden. But once again, don't forget to pray for someone else besides yourself and always know that God is God. Mabel's table saying, uh, do. <laughs>